And when uh, Tom, you know, had us in the room, took Dina and I in and, and said, uh, do you like Bob Dylan? And we said, yeah, <laughs> you know, of course, he's the, one of the seminal, uh, you know, songwriters in the world, Bob Dylan. Peter and Dina. Hi. Do you like Bob Dylan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, because I picked the Bob Dylan song. It's a very meaningful song, I think. And the biggest hit on it was Adele, and it's called Make You Feel My Love. And I have to admit, at that moment, I was thinking, uh-oh. <laughs> because if you think about it, Dina has a unique voice because it shares traits from two really top singers. She sounds, she has that Gaga feel to her. You know, Stephanie, Lady Gaga, has that feeling mixed in with Adele. And she kind of, you know, her tone swaps between the two of them mixed in, you know, with her own unique sound. So that's absolutely fantastic. And I thought to myself, wow, so I'm singing an Adele hit with somebody who kind of sounds like Adele. Uh-oh. <laughs> Another amazing bit about working with Dina was when we first started to sing, you realize the thought process and the amount of thought that they've put behind, um, you know, pairing everybody up because neither of us was having to sacrifice one of our individual styles to suit the other one because generally in a duet there is some sort of give and take and a little bit of compromise has to be made but in this case there wasn't we just sung and it worked and that is rare so you know while we were battling each other at the same time we were musically as artists just loving singing off each other because it just it really felt good also i have to point this out i mean dina was really really fair as well i mean um there was points where i mean yeah i could take my range up a little bit more things like that but she was pointing out let's not take it up too high because you know there's no point in me screaming my lungs out just to suit her we had to find a middle ground that worked for both of us and that went a long way for me to think that, you know, here we are technically in competition with each other, but at the same time, she was being fair. You know, she is an incredible human being, let alone an artist as well. So that was really refreshing to work with. Dina is hilarious, even when she's not trying to be. Uh, she just says things occasionally, just the way she looks sometimes, you know. And the great thing is that we've really got each other's humor. You know, which is, if you're going to work with each other as much as we were for that round, um, is, is a massive bonus. Um, for the uh, battle rehearsal where Tom is sitting there and we'd rehearsed and then we go down and we go and ask Tom a couple of questions. You know, Tom just said, you know, he says, yeah, you guys sound really good. And he said, are there any questions? And this is, I, I can't remember the exact words she said, but she said, you know, she says, do I look all right on stage or am I just looking like I'm taking the mickey? You know, something along those lines. And to be fair, there was a kind of tiny little pause and then Tom and I looked at each other and just pissed ourselves laughing. <laughs> and she went, what, what did I say? We're going, nothing, it's just the way you said it. They originally had us, so we were gonna start singing the song facing each other, sort of looking into each other's eyes, you know, longingly. <laughs> that was never gonna work. <laughs> when the rain is blowing in your face. And she says, but there's no way I can sing this song looking at you. She isn't thinking about my fella. <laughs> I said, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Battle the duet that we sung flies by so fast when you're on stage and to be honest with you i think it felt great but i had I a feeling when we were stood uh side by side with anna who's presenting the show and i don't know i just got a feeling a vibe that it was not going to be me you just lived it i don't know where and that came, came from i just like thought that. that i thought it would be lovely for you and i was right but that's what makes it much more difficult for me because i've got to try and um 
figure out which way to go with it, you know. You try and mentally prepare yourself for leaving the show and you think you're ready, you know, you just go, right, I'm not going to win this, it's going to be fine. And I didn't know it was going to hit me as hard as it did. <sighs> it's like being fired, it really is. But I have to emphasize this, I've got two massive emotions going inside. That one, that gutted, punched in the stomach feeling with sheer joy for Dina because I've learned to really, you know, uh, respect this person, care for them as a friend, and I really, really wanted to be happy. And watching her that happy and going through just made it worthwhile. It really did. I wouldn't change a thing with the way it all came out. I really wouldn't. We sung the song the best we could, and we stayed true to what we said, which is, look, they're going to pick who they want anyway. Let's just leave behind something beautiful. And I think we did that. I'll say this, Dina, um, if you're watching this, I just want to say that singing with you was an absolute honor. And thank you for one hell of a great time.